match, number one seed Mark Masabi, Eric Forkel, advancing from the shootout round, will take him on. Mark Masabi, first frame in the championship match. And important to get off to a good start. This is the lane that was a little easier for the, for the right-handed bowler, for Rudy Kazimakis in the last game, but it's a solid 10 for Mark Masabi. We'll watch the six pin. It's going to go right around the 10. We've seen it so many times. Such a frustrating shot. Important to get off to a decent start, make the spare mark. Masabi has no problem with that. Mark Masabi converting the spare in the first frame. First time ever bowling outdoors. Live in Bryant Park in New York City. And Eric Forkel certainly liked it in the shootout round. And he likes it so far in the championship match. Marshall starting out very hot with a strike in the first. Now Forkel had no problem on the right-hand lane. It was the left-hand lane that gave him a little trouble, but when he did make his bad shot, Carried a Brooklyn strike, so everything working for him. Hey, Marsh, you uh, ever bowled with sunglasses before? Never bowled with sunglasses, but I'll tell you, if I was out there right now, Gary, I'd be wearing shades, and I'd like <laughs> to be out there. This looks like a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, leaving the big four, Eric Forkel. That's the lane that gave him problem. Last time he made a bad shot on lane one, a Brooklyn strike. This time, right through the nose, the 4, 6, 7, 10, and he knows the trouble right now. And really all you can do here, Gary, is just go for the count, just take two pins. He's working on a strike, so if he were only to get one, he would lose a couple extra pins. Give it a try. And that's exactly what he's done. Well, at least I got the seven. Forkel happy that lose. he at Come least on. got the seven. He's still in the game. That's early in the match. Forkel reassuring himself that he's still in the game. Very important here for Masabi, the right-hand lane. Now, he throws the ball a lot slower. Maybe he can get it to climb the hill, the hill that Rudy couldn't climb. He does it. Our first look at Mark Masabi, shoulder-high backswing. Nice and fluid. And look at that great knee bend. I want to tell you, that is so good, so crucial to the game. Mark Masabi had a 300 game this week, and that did, in fact, help him to the top seed on Friday night. Had an excellent Friday night. Started out with 300. And another solid 10 for Mark Masabi. You know, I, I said it just moments ago that, that I gave Eric Forkel, you know, the, the big advantage in this match. Masabi's the one making the quality shots right now. And Masabi converts. Well, for in-depth sports coverage with late-breaking news, updated scores, and stats, go to cbs.sportsline.com or on America Online. Enter keyword CBS Sportsline. Mark Masabi through three. A couple of spares and a strike. Eric Forkel finds himself down early by 16 with an open in the second, looking to redeem himself in the third. And Gary Forkel, very fortunate to only be down by 16 pins. Masabi had a solid 10 first frame, solid 10 third frame with that strike in between. Could easily have at least a couple strikes in a row right now. Forkel with the opportunity to cut it to a six pin lead with a strike here in the fourth frame. So far for Forkel, really all good, all good breaks for, for Forkel. You know, I mean, he did leave the big four in the second frame, but he kind of got what he deserved, made a bad shot. But every time he's hit the pocket, for the most part, his carry percentage, very, very good. Down six to Masabi right now. This is Masabi's third career PBA television appearance. His first is the top seed. And that slower speed really helping out Masabi on the right-hand lane. He's having absolutely no problems. 
take a look just how far he gets this ball out to the right. Starts it around the 14 board. It's on three right there, but it's coming back and takes care of everything. Mark Masabi started bowling about 10. He used to go to a bowling center in Charlotte, North Carolina. His mom lived next to one, but he didn't go for bowling at first. He went to play the video games at the bowling center. Got into bowling after that. And the 10 pin responds for Mark Mosabi in that particular frame. And a shot he deserved. Take a look at the eyes of Mark Mosabi. He's going to stare down this 10 pin. About time. Eric Forkel now in the fifth frame. Yes. A very tough player from a mental standpoint, Eric Forkel. Doesn't let anything bother him. And I think the fact that he doesn't have a problem with distractions probably lends well for bowling in this very unique environment. Taking a little extra time for Forkel. And he, then he I've looks down, pins. doesn't have an eight pin in the rack. I'll shoot the nine pins, it'd be easier. <laughs> He's definitely missing that eight pin and. No eight pin. Not only is Eric bowling well, but he's also having fun out there. He'd rather shoot at the nine pins if they'd let him. I don't think that's in the PBA rules, is it, Marsh? I'm not sure he could, could ever get away with that. He's the one that saw it. He's got 10 pins now. He likes the way the rack looks, and he's ready to bowl. Yeah. Eric Forkel, patience is a virtue, comes up with the strike.